My name is Danny Cully. Uh, I work for Henkel Limited. Uh, and my role for Henkel is the business development manager for Western Europe, covering the automotive glazing uh, replacement marketplace. So we are here today to talk to you about the new development safety measures that we've put in place when it comes to windscreen replacement in all automotive vehicles. Firstly, we'd like to start off to say that uh, our approach to safety is that there, there is no such thing as being too safe. So we push the boundaries beyond the industry norm and we'll share this with you as we go into the presentation today. Um, I would like to say at this point, if we have any questions from <laughs> the few people that are here, <laughs> let's leave them until the end and I'm sure we'll have enough time to, to answer them. So to help us introduce you here now, we have a, a, a few videos that we're going to show you. Uh, which shows the safety and developments that have happened within the car industry. And then we'll move on and into the discussion with regards to adhesive sealants. So hopefully this works. Of course, when we started NCAP, there was great opposition from the industry. The conventional wisdom then was that safety doesn't sell performance, color, all these things sold, but not safety. Now that has, experience has shown that that's not so. In fact, it's a win-win situation for everybody. The consumer is safer, but the manufacturer has another sale point. So from every point of view, uh, it's the right thing, and we shouldn't have to fight like we did in the early days in the mid-90s when we started Euroenco. You've probably heard a lot about improved car safety. Well, here's the absolute proof of what a huge improvement there's been uh, in crash protection in regular cars in Europe. This is a Ford Fiesta from 1998. We've got a 20-year plus model here. This is the latest Ford Fiesta. The two cars crash together at 40 miles an hour, 64 kilometers an hour, and the results are spectacularly different. This car, the body shell has collapsed. The occupant area has caved in on the driver. The risk of fatal and serious injury is extremely high. This car, the body shell is intact. All the airbags have gone off perfectly. There's just a crack in the windscreen. This is an entirely survivable crash. This one, a fatal crash. This is all the result of improved crash test standards that came into force in 1998 across the EU and we've seen benefit after benefit, year after year, tens of thousands of people have survived these kind of crashes because of these EU crash test standards. Okay, so uh, video paints a thousand pictures, and that's quite uh, striking videos that we've just seen here. Um, so now we look at our adhesive process and replacement of windscreens. And there is only one standard as we sit here today around the globe. And as you can see here, it is the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 212-218. to So this was launched in 1967, so quite a long time ago now. Um, but it's still, as we sit here today, the only way to measure windscreen retention in a vehicle once it's had a windscreen fitted. If you look to the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the process. So the vehicle is crashed at 30 miles an hour into a concrete barrier. How the windscreen adhesive is measured is that from the center line of the windscreen, 50% either side of the car has twin airbags. If the adhesive stays in contact at that, those 50%, uh, then the adhesive passes the test. If a car has no airbags, then we have to allow for 75% of adhesion to the body in order for it to pass the test. Once that's happened, it's then given a driver, a safe driveway time. So whether that is 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, whichever it may be, and then it is sold out into the marketplace and windscreen companies or, or body shops will then use it according to that standard. Now I want to move you forward 30 years. So we saw the NCAP crash test standard before. Um, so 30 years later, NCAP is launched. So NCAP is the new car assessment program NCAP is there just to monitor or to make sure that the, the passenger or the dummies in the vehicle are safe. 
So it's not looking at the windscreen, it's only looking at the safety of the car. And it's now a standard that we all recognize, so we all recognize the stars and the five star system. And hopefully we choose, we're looking for a safe car, we're looking for five stars. So now we look at uh, how this test was carried out. So before 1997, they spent four years looking at how people crash the car. And they realized that people don't crash the car at 30 miles an hour, as you saw on the other screen. They actually crash them at 40 miles an hour. People don't crash head on. People's automatic reaction is to want to avoid the crash. So they move away from the crash. So now we see this 40% overlap. So this crash is a lot more severe because of speed and because of angle of impact as well. So this is what we looked at and we considered. So this is where we wanted to take our adhesive that's holding the windscreen in. And remembering that the adhesive or the windscreen accounts for 40% of the structural strength of the vehicle, very important part of the car. So our approach here is that we wanted to test the standards and the parameters in the aftermarket um, to make sure that, so our customers don't have to. And this is the most important thing. So here we're looking at, as the automotive industry keeps evolving, keeps improving on its safety as we see, um, keeps changing with, with, the, with the advent of now new electrical vehicles coming in. So we wanted to also develop and move on. Um, so we wanted to look at how the vehicles are crashed, and we see this from NCAP, uh, that the vehicles are crashed with the 40% the overlap and the 40 miles an hour. So we wanted to test our adhesive in this format. Okay. So, in order to do this now, we have a short video. I'm happy to welcome you to our test facility. We want to demonstrate uh, the functionality of the airbag system supported by the windscreen staying in place in case of a crash. Excited, nervous, you don't know what will happen. But I'm confident it will be in. It's a Henkel adhesive tested through laboratories, new test methods. We are starting the drive away time, counting. It was an impressive event. And the screen was actually at the same place. The shape had no damage and the spalt are still perfect, exactly as they were wurde. They came here to have a kind of a wow effect. We call that the terror effect. These kind of tests are very important from accident safety and at the end uh, the safety of people. The innovation that Henkel have shown and the reliability of it is the main factor for the whole partnership. To convince somebody to use adhesives and trust the adhesives your life, you have to see it, you have to feel it. So that's, um, we spoke before about the requirements of an adhesive to pass the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard Test of 50% from the center line out, which when airbags, 75, it has no airbags. So here's how the, the adhesive market moves on. So this much higher crash test that you saw, so 64 kilometers, 40% overlap, 
So here we have 100% retention in the adhesive. No failure in the bond line whatsoever. Uh, this is a global first, as we say to today, so no one else has done this test. So two more points to, uh, one more slide to show you, and then one uh, for a point for consideration. So to further endorse this approach, we know we spoke before about innovation and technology and how vehicle manufacturers keep moving forward. Um, so this is no different. So now, um, many, many, a couple of years ago, uh, autonomous emergency braking was only fitted on, let me call it, the higher end cars, Mercedes S-Class, Audi A8s, seven series BMWs. As of 2022, the end of this year, all cars have to be fitted with some form of AEB. Whether it's, you call it autonomous emergency braking, whether you call it um, <coughs> automatic emergency braking. So this is where if you don't brake, the car is gonna brake for you. So the Federal Motor Vehicle Crash Test that you see on the bottom of the screen is becoming redundant because the likelihood of this crash happening is now gonna be overtaken by technology as you see in the top right hand corner. Regarding the NCAP crash test that you see on, on, above it, then what's the likelihood of this happening? So if I'm driving down a country lane, the road is bending around and another car is coming the other way, then we have, depending on the angle that we have and the amount of AEB it's fitted on the car, the likelihood this still crash could still take place. So this validates our approach that we had um, to carrying out this European or crash test standard in relation to the adhesives. And one more point, uh, one more thought that I'll leave you with. I wanna buy a brand new car. So I'm looking for five stars because I know five stars sells, five star safety. And from a manufacturing perspective, from this perspective here, is that if the car doesn't have AEB fitted, it will not get five stars from NCAP. So it has to have AEB on the car in order to get five stars. If it doesn't have it, the stars will drop. So I now go and buy my wife a car. I'm looking for safety because my kids are gonna be in the car. I have the car a week, I'm driving it down the M6, I'm behind a truck in front of me, and it flicks up a stone. It cracks my windscreen in the visibility area where I can't repair, I have to replace. So I take my week old Ford Fiesta and I take it into a body shop or I take it into a windscreen fitting company. I give them a five star NCAP crash test rated car. They give you that car back after 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, the next day. For a period of time, depending on temperature and humidity, I no longer have a five-star NCAP trash rated car because the adhesive that has been used hasn't been crash tested at 40 miles an hour with a 40% overlap. It's only been crash tested at 30 miles an hour with 100% head on. So that's the step that we have taken. To, to allow so that if the windscreen adhesive, a Henkel windscreen adhesive used, we have the security straight away. We don't have to wait. This is because when most in this country, most people are using a single component adhesive. It requires temperature and humidity to cure. Depending on the temperature and humidity, it might take a day, it might take a week, it might take two weeks. And the crash test that is done when the car in the aftermarket is done, it's back on the road, the adhesive is still in a wet state. So that's the difference that we're talking about. So from my side now, thank you very much for listening to me. If we have any questions, I'm sure we have enough time. So.